All right, let's create a really basic menu inside of Power Apps. So here's a little bit of code that I have here on the screen. This is a brand new project. Yeah, screen one and a label. That's the only thing that's here. And uh, here we've got some code. Uh, we'll dissect it together. It starts off with a table function. So you see right there. Here, table. And it takes a parameter. And that parameter is between these two parentheses. That's how you pass in parameters to functions. And uh, uh, the parameter we pass in is a listing of only two values. Each of those two values are surrounded by curly braces, and those two are separated by a comma. Okay, so there's a open curly brace closing, and we have the same thing down here, and that's separated by this comma. Uh, inside those curly braces are the named values. So uh, you could say, like, if, if we're thinking about a, a database or a database table, these this is a record here, this is a record, and this is a column or a field, okay? Or if we're talking about it like an Excel spreadsheet, um, this would be a row within a uh, spreadsheet, and then these would be the, the three columns. This data uh, could be what drives the, a listing control, like a gallery, well, a list box, a drop box. But for menus, um, the gallery control is very flexible. That's what I like to use a lot of times. And for my own applications, I have a, a, a menu system that I, I built, took a lot of time to build it, but I just wanna show you how to create just a really basic menu here using this, this information here. So let's say we've got another screen here, we'll add a, a new screen. And instead of screen one and screen two, let's actually give it a name. I think here on the first screen, we've got uh, home screen. Let's let's name this first screen home screen. And if for the screen two, we'll go in and, and name this help screen. And they actually recommend putting spaces and making the screen name very descriptive of what the of what the screen does for accessibility reasons uh, for people with disabilities. So that's a good thing that we put that in there. Okay, so. The menu text is going to be the text of the menu. So we'll have a little menu here on the side. We'll use a gallery and the menu text will be a, a description of what that screen is once we go there. And then we'll have an icon in the menu. And then that third uh, value will be the screen that it's going to go to. Okay, so we've named our screens. Um, so let's actually add in a gallery and we'll just put in a Blake vertical. Now, if you wanted the the menu to be to go across the top you could make it a, a horizontal one as you can see here you can do blank horizontal i always use uh, the blank galleries i never use these uh, ones that are filled out i always if i do if i have used these in the past i always rip out everything and it, um it's just more trouble than what it's worth so i always use the blank ones so here's a gallery and the first thing you want to do with the gallery is connect it to a data source. So we're not going to really connect it to a database or a SharePoint list. We're actually going to use this, this code here. And so this is sort of going to be hard coded here for this gallery. So make sure the gallery is selected. And for the data source, so you see I click on the word data source here. Um, or you can simply select items. So those are the ex actually the same thing, data source and items. So instead of it using the custom gallery sample, we'll take that out, then we'll paste in what we have here. And I'll expand this code window. And you can expand it first by clicking on the little chevron right here where my cursor's at. And I paste it in. So uh, the, the menu text is simply a string. The menu icon is actually, if you look here, if you type in icon dot, you got all the icons that you can pick from down here. You'll see there's a little list. So this is a home screen. I thought uh, home would be probably appropriate for that. And then we'll use like a phone, like uh, like some type of help desk support uh, team that you would call up on the phone. Uh, that would probably be good for the help screen. And then the screen. So the this is referencing the actual name of the screen down here, help help screen or home screen. And those are the only three values that we're going to use, okay? So we actually need to add an icon in here. So we'll add an icon. We'll also need to add in a label. There we go. So we've got those two items. Let's move things around a little bit. Typically on galleries, I like to set up this border so I know 
the word starts and ends. <laughs> Otherwise, it sort of blends in with everything if everything's white like this. But um, so for this icon, there's an icon property of the icon. So if you go over here to icon, and if we want to reference the underlying data for this gallery, we can reference it by saying this item dot. And then we've got those values that we set up over here. So I'll say menu icon. And then for the labels, click on the label here, do the same thing. And for the text, we don't want to reference the, the icon here. We want to reference the menu text. Of course, we need to have that dot there. go put that up there and <clears throat> so this is the first record of this gallery so we don't need things to be that tall so there we go so now we actually have a menu system okay so this is here on the home screen so there's a lot of copying pasting in power apps um, so we're just gonna copy this gallery I can right click and say copy go over here to the help screen and paste it okay so these screens look very similar um, the exception of, of it's got this uh, this code listed here, so I'll give it a border so I know where it starts and stops. But let's actually add a label here on the screen so we know what screen we're on. So then Power Apps, you can reference app. I just typed in app. There we go. Let's say active screen dot name. That's going to give us the name of the the current active screen. So. Um, this might be like a screen heading, so we might want to make the font size to be bigger and we might want to give it a color. Okay, so we can right click on this, copy, go over to home screen, paste. Okay, now we can run the project, click on home. Um, nothing happens. <laughs> so, what we need to do here is we need to set up the um, on select on select here and what we'll say is we will navigate and what we're going to navigate to is we'll say this item which references the underlying record for the gallery and it's going to be the screen the screen to go to and we'll end up that uh put an ending parenthesis now we need that on the first screen this navigate let's go back to home screen here click on this gallery and make sure for the on select that is there as well. So now if we run it, click on help, it goes there, click on home. You see we can move in there. We have a basic menu. So in a real application, you probably wanna put a lot more work behind this, make it all look a lot more uh, fancier, but that's just the basic menu. That's all that's really required to create a menu in, in Power Apps. Thank you.